John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Dear Lord Jesus, I could live a thousand lifetimes and never be able to fully express my gratitude for your sacrifice on the cross. You demonstrated perfect love by marching up to the cross and being slain on my behalf. Thank you for the gift of eternal life, for I know the price was precious to attain it. Such selflessness and courage are beyond my comprehension. I pray, God, that you would empower me each day to live with that love. Give me fearless love, enduring love, impartial love to show the world. Help me to reflect your heart in all that I say and do. I pray all this in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on love and kindness. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is on love and kindness. Hey, get away by yourself, maybe from everything and everyone. Take a moment, get yourself into a quiet place where you can focus your heart and mind. Help you breathe in, breathe out, relax, and as you do so, focus on quieting your mind. Turn your thoughts to the Word of God. We're going to be meditating on a very familiar verse in Scripture, John 3:16, from the King James Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but will have everlasting life. <laughs> Pour out your adoration to God who gave you his best through Christ Jesus. God, I praise you for giving me the very best of who you are. You withheld nothing. You gave it all. And I worship you for sending your only begotten Son to die on the cross. I exalt you, Lord, for giving up your life to save mine, for giving up your freedom in exchange for my redemption. You know, love gives the very best of itself. The Bible says that God's love for the world was so great that he gave up his son to restore relationship with humanity, with you and me. God gave the very best of what he had to offer because he loves you. Giving your best to someone or anything can be really difficult. Sometimes you find that you're not really willing to do so. It's tough to give up your time, your emotions, your resources. Sometimes you try and fail. Take a moment right now and confess those failed attempts to God. Confess your lack of love. Maybe failed attempts to Him. God is faithful and just, and He will forgive your failures and restore your love. I hope you take a moment to think and reflect on God's unmatched love in your life and thank Him for it. Thank God for setting His seal on your heart. Thank Him for His love that is stronger than death. Many waters could not quench His love for you. Neither could floods drown it out. Thank the Lord for having loved you with an everlasting love. Thank Him for giving you His best in Jesus Christ. Thank Him for a minute on past experiences where you engaged with, sensed, and knew 
God's love. Thank Him for all those past blessings of His love over your life and those still to come. You know what I love? I love that God is present and that He's listening to you and me. God did not even spare His own Son, but gave Him up for you and me so that along with Jesus, we could have all manner of good things. I hope you'll approach God in boldness of this love, believing that His promise is true and that He longs to bless you. Petition God for the blessing of love. Ask the Holy Spirit to teach you and give you the best of yourself in love, whether it be in person or to a task at hand. Remember, God expects you to give the best of yourself in love. God is love, and he showed that love by giving the finest of himself. As God loved you, you were to love others. You have God's Holy Spirit to show you the way and to help you. So reach out to God today. Call upon his great love. Seize the opportunity to do something to the best of your ability. Give your full attention to a friend, your full focus to a task, and most importantly, give your whole heart to Jesus. Thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on Pray.com. By incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice, you are making prayer a priority, and I believe you're strengthening your walk with God. Hey, also, maybe God has gifted you with a heart to help others. I hope you'll consider being a part of our Mental Health Coach First Responder Program. You can enroll right now, and you could be on your way to becoming a board-certified mental health coach. Everything you need to know about this 42-hour training program, featuring, by the way, some of the world's leading mental health and ministry experts, it's all up at lightuniversity.com, lightuniversity.com forward slash mental health coach. Best news, right now we're offering a full $2,400 Pray.com scholarship, maybe for someone just like you. Nearly 50,000 people have enrolled. The program's exploding. I'm Dr. Tim Clinton, president of the American Association of Christian Counselors. We love being a part of your life.